Well, this is Jake. I'm the official, unofficial cameraman for this group. We have, uh, here's Drew. There's Drew. And there's the other Drew. Right there. Um, Kaylee. Kaylee's right there. She's walking away. There's Kenny. And there's Dylan. Alright. There's a little set house. That's Eric. Run, run, run. Oh, run, run, run. Oh. Involving cost per unit to determine the best buy. Okay, at the store of Walreds, a four pack of Red Bull is five ninety nine, and a twelve pack of Red Bull is eighteen eighty seven. Okay, and we're gonna see which one is a better buy. Like, to get twelve, should you buy the twelve pack or buy three four packs? Okay, to get to twelve, what would you multiply? Alex, what would you multiply four to get to twelve by? Well, no. Would you multiply it by three? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you would multiply it by four. But you would multiply it four times three and get twelve. All right. Can you multiply four times three for us, Alex? Uh, what? Okay. Never mind. We'll we'll just not do that. <laughs> and um. So four times three is twelve. So to see if, the, if it's a better buy, we'll multiply five times five ninety nine times three, and we would get we would get seven two, nine. Seventeen. La la. Seventeen ninety seven. La la. Stop, Alex. Please. Okay. Seventeen ninety seven would be the price to buy three four packs. Is and this right here is greater than that. So the better buy would be to buy three four packs instead of buying one twelve pack. Peace up, Peace A Town. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Hush, 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 hush. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, class. My name is Drew Kelly. Guess what? Today, we're learning about geometrical ideas and relationship outside, not inside, outside of class. All right, now follow me, follow me, come on, come on. Now this object, fancy, fancy, pink, lovely, chew ball for her. Woo, wee, man, that is stink. Entering uh, a room. You better not go in that bathroom, because you will die. I bombed. Will I find brown ovals in the toilet? <laughs> not 
hot oval cylinders. That's weird. But it smells so bad. You have deer poop. Not deer poop. I have human. Sir, continue with your thing. Um. Thank you. We're rolling the video. Thank you. Um. Eric, you have a. Miss Browning with my. Great. Okay. Yeah. And guess what? It's 99. So. Cool. Good. Well, this makes straight lines. Straight lines. Come, come, come. Oh wow! Look at this on the table. It's a see-through cylinder. Beautiful. Oh, jeez. Two, two. Oh. Ew. Oh, what the heck? Uh, this is a rectangular prism of clean my Kleenexes. Oh. Oh wow. Two picks. This is another rectangular prism. And that's it. Yeah. So class, as you already know, we're doing real world problems. And I'm going to teach you a little bit about rate, time, and distance. So, that's probably just gonna help you out a little bit. Now to get, okay, let's stop that now, Mr. Kelly. Okay, Sorry. to get the distance, you take rate and time. Look at this. Thing. D stands for distance. To find the distance, you just take the rate or the speed you're traveling at and the time, which is the time it takes to get there. I think. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. perfect. It is definitely that. Okay, anyway, so D equals RT. Say you're going, come, 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 come. They're going to take me riding. Oh, my hair get a little messy. Get up a little. Look fabulous. All right. Are you watching me? Okay. Get closer. Get closer so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Say rate is anyone in the building that would have a 25 miles an hour. In the basketball court. Stop that, Mr. Paul. And your time. Let's see. That. Thank you. Just get close. Just video take close. See, 25 miles an hour. And let's see. Your time is. Hmm, maybe three hours. Because you want to go at the speed and obey and obey the laws. So you to find the distance. You would just take twenty-five times three, and you would get seventy-five. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I have Mrs. Mrs. Kemi in here. Uh, Hi. Don't <laughs> 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 forget me. Okay. Good job, Mr. Kelly. Right about now. The funk soul brother. Check it out now. The funk soul brother. Right about now. The funk soul brother. Hi, I'm Eric Martin. And on the video, I'm going to teach you problems involving scale factors using ratios and proportions. Okay. On this map, in our history textbook, there's a scale factor of one inch is equal to a hundred miles. So, if we are going on a trip from Nashville, which is right here, right here, <laughs> this is hard, and it's gonna start, and we're gonna go from the green flag. <laughs> Yeah. All the way to Los Angeles. That would be eight. That would be eight and a half inches. Which, how many? Well, since the scale factor is one inch is equal to a hundred miles, how many would be eight and a half inches, kids? That's right. Eight hundred fifty miles from Nashville to Los Angeles on our trip. <laughs> 